Turn back eyes. Top 10 richest country of 2023. World according to Briggs. Shout out World according to Briggs. Let's get Is there. the United States the richest country in the world? Oh, it's In so today's so. video, we're going to find out. But probably This not. is always a popular subject on this channel. People leave a lot of comments when we start talking about countries' GDP. And for some reason, whenever we do this, German people want to argue the numbers with me. Apparently, the World Bank numbers aren't good enough for them. They got their own math. There's a few different ways to determine which countries are the richest. One of the ways we rank a country's wealth is by its GDP, or gross domestic product. What is gross domestic product? It is a monetary GDP. measure of a market's value in all of its final goods and services produced and sold in a specific time period by a country. It's like the definition. In a nutshell, how much stuff are you making, selling, and shipping is what it breaks down to. Now, I just broad brush that, and there is a ton that goes into this. There's plenty of documentaries on it. I do 10-minute videos. This list is based on the current U.S. dollars according to information from the World Bank. So we're going to rank them by their GDP, we're gonna get and we'll it. look at what their major industries are. Got it. Get now, it. before we get going, let's try something new. Right now in the comment section, list three countries other than the United States, because we know it's going to be on there, that you think will be on this list. Got and it. come back and uh, see if you're trying to catch us. Got, Got it. it. Get, get it. it. Good. good. Let's <laughs> take a look. I still fucked up, but it's all good. Though. We're getting better. We're getting better. Um, besides the U.S., richest countries, I will put Russia on there. I will put China. Uh, Africa is a very rich country. Africa, yes. Africa should be up there. Probably should be. No, it should probably be number one. Africa, Africa got a lot of stuff, man. They got a lot of stuff. But it's going to be some Middle Eastern country, Saudi Arabia, something, something like that, too. Some rich countries. Dubai. Number 10, Dubai. South Korea. South, South Korea, Korea okay. is on the Korean Peninsula, sandwiched between the Sea of Japan, the Yellow Sea, and the East China Sea. It has a population of 51 million residents, almost 52. It's actually 51.74 million. That's back in 2022, according to the World Bank. They turn out a lot of electronics here. And that's where a good portion of their GDP comes from. South Korea's mm. largest industries are electronics, automobiles, telecommunication, shipbuilding, chemicals, and steel. I'm surprised K-pop isn't on there. Well, th that's probably a reference lost on a lot of you. There's, uh, you know how we have the boy bands here in the U.S., like In Sync, the Backstreet Boys, right, and all right. those guys. They got them over there in South Korea too. It's called K-pop. South Korea's GDP is 1.79 trillion dollars. Hmm. It's a lot of money. Number nine, Canada. The Great White North comes in at number nine with a pretty good showing. Now. You might think that they should Generally. be a little higher on this list because it's a big country. You'd think they have a lot more industries. Really, it's a big country with a lot of wide open spaces. I mean, Los Angeles has more people than all of Canada. If you've ever been out to mm. Kansas, North Dakota, South Dakota, Iowa, and you think those places are sparsely populated, you'll go to Canada, you'll have your mind blown. They really only have a handful of big cities. Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Saskatoon, Re Regina, Regina, Winnipeg, Regina. I don't know, I get stuck on that name all the time because of a joke someone told me when I was like 14. Of course, Toronto, Ottawa, <laughs> Montreal, Quebec City, and uh, Hamilton. Most of Canada is small towns, little villages, and forested areas. So yeah, their GDP doesn't kind of line up with the typical country their size. Canada's largest industries are real estate, mining, and manufacturing. Mm. Canada is also home to some of the largest mining companies in the world. Canada's annual GDP is $2 trillion. Okay. Okay. Learn something new every day. No, 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 don't eat that. Don't eat that. Cocaine, bear. bear. Get cocaine. Let's see what kind of effect that has on me. What the hell? I work hard and I want my money to work hard too. So I use my Freedom Unlimited card. I earn all my favorite soup. Ah. Ah. Got it. Earn big with Chase Freedom Unlimited. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. Let's go. Number eight. Number eight, Italy. 
You know, this one sort of surprised me. Then when I sat down and started thinking about it, it Paris made sense. Go over There's a lot of things that come out of Italy. I mean, a lot of different things. And they tend to be very expensive. They're also really big in pharmaceuticals, which I don't think a lot of people realize. Italy has a population of just over 59 million residents. And like I said, fashion, food, automotive parts, and automobiles, pharmaceuticals, manufacturing and machinery, along with tourism. Tourism is a big part of Italy's economy. Italy's annual GDP is $2.1 trillion. Not bad. Number seven, France. France, France. has a population I said France. Yep. I said France. of 67.7 million residents. And they've got their hands in a lot of different things. Transportation, agriculture, tourism is one of the biggest things for them. And they're also really big in energy production. But this is one of, I guess Italy the same thing, but tourism is really big for both of these countries. It's almost like their main thing. I wonder how much they make off escargot every year. I mean, is there a market for edible snails? If there is, there really shouldn't be. I don't know why people eat escargot. It's just weird. I was just on a cruise and so I went to the Italian food place. That I was talking to this lady. She's like, you should try the French place. They've got great escargot. I got that lump in my throat like I wanted to throw up. It was gross. I just thought about it and ugh. The annual GDP of France is $2.9 trillion. So this is what the country is worth. Mm. Number six, That's India. True. You know, there's a India. thing. Oh, God. I should have picked India. That was not about smart. India. That I should have picked. I don't know why I didn't pick them. They have some really horrible slums and horrible poverty. But the countryside, when you get away from the cities, it's beautiful. Sure, you got to worry about being eaten by a tiger, but you know everything's got its danger, right? India has a lot of ways of making their money. They're in paper products, petrochemical, automobiles, information technology, banking and insurance, and pretending to be IRS agents so you why can call the ladies out of money. India, India has weird. a population of 1.4 billion people, and they have an annual GDP of $3.2 trillion. Mm. Number five, the United Kingdom. United you know, Kingdom, I okay. really wasn't sure what they did. You know, it's I talk about different things, oh, but it's shit, not something bad. I really looked into. Like, what do they do in the UK? I mean, I tell you all about London and all the different places, but what do they do? Well, most of it's agriculture, construction. They do have manufacturing and a lot of production, tourism, and shipping. They're also really big in insurance, investment, and banking type things. The United Kingdom has 67.33 million residents, and their annual GDP is $3.2 trillion. Sometimes you'd Number be four, Germany. Countries. Now, here's a Germany? fun fact about this whole thing. If we included states, this is where California would go. Depends on the year, but in recent years, they've almost overtaken Germany. So I guess they would have been Germany at four and California at number five. Mm. I did read one article that said they overtook them, and then I was looking at the numbers, and they're almost overtaking them. I think things took a step backwards because of the pandemic. But I do think California will overtake Germany by the end of 2023. We all know Germany has some insane industries. Industries. Machine building, automobiles, electrical engineering, electronics, Don't chemical own, and food um, process. What's that car brand that they own? Uh, what is the fucking brand? Uh, Porsche? Don't they own Porsche? Scene? These are their main industries. I'm shocked beer isn't somewhere in there. Germany has a population of 83.2 million residents, and their annual GDP is $4.2 trillion. Hey, yeah, they got that pocket for sure. Germany got it. Number three, Japan. 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 Ah, oh, I should have got Japan. Japan is far. I, I said China because you know. Damn, I should have picked Japan. Damn, damn. Africa got to be on there though of cars and car parts is one of the largest industries in Japan. Yeah, Japan, Japan has a highly that. developed economy. Why did I not pick Japan? Because Japan really do be having that cheese. Japan be having it. I don't know. Japan got so much cool stuff. I don't know, bro. The country has the second most them. developed economy in the world. That's not the largest. That's the second most developed. There's a difference. Automobile manufacturing is going to be they the biggest own part Mitsubishi, of Japan's economy right? with companies Mitsubishi. like Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Suzuki, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Subaru, so, Isuzu. They also have Kawasaki and Yamaha. There's still other ones I didn't name. Japan has a population of 125.7 million residents, and mm. they have an annual GDP of 4.9. That supposed to be a little. Eiffel version of Eiffel Tower? Trillion dollars. Now, coming up next are the big ones. All right. 
I feel like Russia, you like it to feel US. Collagen. If not, then okay. Vital proteins. But Africa should Royal be on there, bro. Royal Growth Program provides the nutrients your dog needs for the ideal foundation to a healthy life. Africa most definitely should be on there. Africa, no question. Number be two, on there. China. China is China? a powerhouse when it I comes know. to their economy and their GDP. It's insane how many people they got working over there. How many different industries and companies? When you look at what they do, they do things in the service sector, manufacturing, agriculture, e-commerce, technology. They make things like cell phones and tablets, which falls under manufacturing. Manufacturing too. They make semiconductors. Things may be changing. I don't think by that much. But since the pandemic and we had a bunch of shortages, the U.S. has started to make their own semiconductors instead of sending it over there. They've just run into problems, so it's changing. Will it change enough to make a difference? Maybe. Are we just cutting China out of the equation and doing it ourselves? No, but we're taking some back. Maybe that'll change if they yeah, keep yeah, sending yeah. balloons over our military facilities. When I worked for yeah, Nike, we had a lot. lot of manufacturing. They still do in China, but they had some problems and the story was, at least I heard, this isn't official, that a lot of the new products they made, you know, people start making knockoffs before they really even got to market sometimes. So when it was something new, they'd keep it here in the U.S. for manufacturing. China has a population of 1.4 billion. 1. 4, 1, billion residents. No, they a, lot a lot of people. people. And that's after they exactly. started telling people to quit having that's so many kids world. back in like the 1980s. Oh, the thing weird. with China is they have so many <laughs> loopholes with how people get paid over there which they don't get paid much at all. Granted, their economy is a little bit different than ours, but these people don't get paid that much. So it's, in a lot of cases, better to do your manufacturing over there. And China has the people to supply those manufacturing jobs. But like I said, they got 1.4 billion residents and their annual GDP is $17.7 trillion. Here, dollars. That's a lot of trillions. 17, yeah. They got that All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another USA channel gonna be on number this one, day. There is a link for that Africa channel. should be number one. Love it if you went over there and subscribed. Russia number right, one, then on number one. That'd be crazy. And, and number, number one, one, the United States, States of America. Duh. Imagine that. We're number one. We have been for a very long time. We're in every single industry, and we learned a lot from World War II. I've read a few books on the economy of World War II. Now, interesting fact, we basically outspent and outbuilt Germany and Japan. Mostly Germany. There was a neat quote from a panzer general for the German army. Panzer was one of their main battle tanks, and for the time, this thing was amazing. This German general said a panzer tank can take on any three American tanks. The problem is, they always had four. So since even before World War <laughs> to the United States manufacturing and different industries like mining, obviously oil, played a big part in the development of the United States and got us to where we are today. Now, like I said at the beginning, there is a ton that can go into this that I'm not even touching. List, I do 10 minute videos. This is a subject that could take a freaking boy, just The United States has Africa's a lot of things the, that the would be considered major industries. Car and automobiles, insurance, oil and gas exploration, commercial banks, engineering services, weapon systems, healthcare, and construction. The United States has a population of 332 million residents and an annual GDP of $22.9 trillion, mm. which California is responsible for around one-fifth of that. Yeah. All right, that's today's video. Good vid, man. I see if people agree that Africa should be on there. Korean, uh... Well, nobody really mentioned it, but Africa got...